Hey, SnowRunner fan. In this video, we're going to look at the RNG M31 military tractor. Before we get started, though, I'd like to send a huge shout out to all of my subscribers and anyone who's liked and shared my videos in the last while. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. So as I said, we're going to be looking at the RNG M31 military tractor, and this thing is a tractor. It's a real beast. You'll see when we get it out into the obstacles later. Anyways, before that, we'll take a look at upgrading it. The engine, there's only one choice. Gearbox, there's only a couple of choices, regular and off-road. And this is a big off-road truck, by the way. Suspension, we'll go with the active. May not end up using it, but we'll take it along anyway. Tires, of course, we'll go for the biggest baddest mud tires we can get or off-road tires in this case. I don't think we'll need chained. Off-road should actually do even on this truck. We don't need the mud tires. This thing is, is a real tractor, a real beast of a tractor. Winch will go with the advanced. Put on the diff lock of course because that'll be uh, handy in certain circumstances. Snorkel. Take a look at the frame add-ons. There's only a couple. We won't need any of them for the moment. For the rooftop, we'll add an LED bar and take a look at the other stuff that's available. It's pretty cool. In case you're really out in the field and turn an off-road into a bit of a scout. Extra supplies. Front bumper, we'll put on the... Uh, oh, I can't forget. I forget the name of it, sorry. Too quick there for me. Put on the big antenna. All kinds of options. Miscellaneous things that can be put on the truck cans of gas. I put some of those on just for the heck of it. You never know when you'll need more gas. Tilt the exhaust out. Only one choice in rims. Military green and two camos. I'll take the green. The olive green looks great on this truck very military or actually should I go with the camel or actually should I I'm having a hard time making up my mind I'll stick with the olive and of course we'll put the little dog on the dashboard anytime he's available Mr. BW goes on the board on the dashboard that is alright so now that we've outfitted it we'll take it out of the garage and take a look at it Again, as an off-road truck, this is a beast. I have no trouble going through and over just about anything. As we're about to find out. Anyways, take a look on the inside of the truck. Start it up. Give it a listen. Sounds good. Not much of a view of the passenger side. Good looking dashboard though, looks very military. Mirrors work, better view of the driver side. Perfect for backing up if you're in first person view. And with that done, we'll take it over to the mud pit and see how it does in the mud with those all terrain tires on. Another thing to take note of here is the uh, front and rear steering. So as big as this truck is, it will have a pretty good turning radius as we're about to find out in a few moments. Yeah. Here we go. Barely slowed it down. 
In fact, it just shifted up into third, I think. And here comes that turning radius. Those back wheels turning too. Nice. Very nice. Whoa, yeah. Alright. Nicely done. Start to see how this thing really is a big tractor. On steroids. Ooh, nice horn too. Alright. Now that we've uh, gone through the mud puddle, we'll take it over to the quarry. And I decided to slap a large trailer on the back to see how tough this military tractor really is. So we'll haul it through the quarry with the uh, large trailer on the back of it. This should prove to be a fun ride. just manhandles the trailer around that rock. This truck is tough. Strong. Getting down is going to be part of the fun part, though. That trailer behind me. See if that helps any. Oh, fabulous. We're in sideways already. Okay, here we go. Much better. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh we're stuck. Alright, time for the diff lock. Come on. Come on. Dig for it. That's it. Gotta get this big rig turned around now. So we can get back up out of here. Of course, when I come through here without a trailer, it's much easier to turn any rig around. I still take the long way, but it is much easier, of course. Now I've got the trailer, and it's pretty massive trailer sitting behind me and getting stuck in the rocks etc just pull it over it come on pull pull beast pull there we go a little bit of a change in angle get it moving excellent take off the diff lock in case we get dinged for it being on a flat surface for two seconds. Excuse me while I have a sip of hot tea. Oh yeah, that's good. So we're going over my favorite shortcut or trick. Trucks usually flip over and do all kinds of ridiculous things. This thing is just mauling its way over, hauling the trailer behind it. Not even thinking of tipping. This is a sizable off-road truck with a lot of power. Okay, come on. Just slap the diff lock on here if we need to. 
change the gearing. Come on. One more time. There we go. Change the gearing. Put the diff lock on. Change the angle. Stuck on a rock there, I think. We have to back it up. Yeah, back it up a little. And there we go. Now we've got it backed up. Change the angle a bit. Get the trailer past that rock. And we're off. Okay. Alright, so that move will get us halfway up. We won't go up the steepest part that we came down, the two halves. But we will be going up one of the steep parts to get to the top of the quarry. <laughs> this one here, <laughs> with the trailer behind us. And I'd rather not use the winch if I don't have to, to just show off the power of the truck. Yeah, and we're up out of the quarry. Boom, just like that. No muss, no fuss. That's amazing. What a run. Well, that was crazy. I'm really glad that I decided to bring the trailer down here. Otherwise, it would have been a rather flat kind of no excitement kind of run. At least with the trailer, we had a little excitement. This thing's a beast. Just would have eaten up the quarry without the trailer behind it. I love how you can see the cloud of air when the hydraulic brakes release. There you go. Nice. Thank you. Alright, now that we've done the quarry, we'll head on over to the Yukon and see if we can move through a quickly moving current. If I had to bet, I'd say this thing would just tear through the water without even a second thought at what it's doing, just as if it's on the road. Here we go. Yeah. Just as I predicted, this truck just eats up everything in front of it. Oof. Good job. Alright, so that's it for the RNG M31 military truck. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy the video or found it helpful, I'd appreciate it if you took a moment to subscribe to my channel, where there's now 150, this is the 150th, I believe, SnowRunner video in my channel. So uh, that could keep you busy for a few minutes. And uh, if you know of somebody else who might enjoy this video or find it helpful, it would be great if you shared the video with them. And if you did like the video, I'd appreciate a like. All of these things keep moving the channel forward, and it's all up to you guys. Anyways, in the meantime, stay safe, take care, and until the next video, bye for now.